Hello, my name is Chris Kiak with Kiak Technology Solutions. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use virtual reality on the Oculus Quest headset. You can use the Oculus Quest 1 or 2 headset to do what I'm going to show you today. Um, and essentially, I'm going to be using Trimble Connect. Um, so most Tecla Structures users um, have access to Trimble Connect. And essentially what you can do is here on the Oculus Quest headset, um, I'm not tethered or plugged into a computer. I am in the standalone uh, browser right now, so I can just walk freely around the room. Um, and this is pretty incredible because I just need a connection to the internet, uh, so that way I can access the models through Trimble Connect on the web. And so I just loaded into the web browser, went into the project. I can select you know, the different models that I want to view. In this case here, I've actually got an assembly of a frame and uh, basically of the 3D model and the uh, 2D DWG that was exported of the drawing from within Tecla Structures. I can then view in 3D Viewer and then I will see that here. So I've got a couple tabs already open just for the sake of time in the video. It loads pretty fast, like this one only took, I don't know, 10 seconds. Uh, this one took a little while to load, um, but you know, again, it's still pretty fast. Now. When you're actually in the web browser, you see this Trimble Connect uh, basically model, but you can't navigate it uh, you know, in this mode, in the browser mode. So what you do is you come up here to the upper right-hand corner and go into Enter VR Mode. And when you do that, you basically are now sort of like in this white space where you can see the 3D model. Now, there's no commenting like ability here. This is very basic VR navigation, right? But uh, there's a couple neat things. Um, for the joysticks, you have the controllers um, with your thumb controllers where you can you can go slowly. So if you just go forward um, or backwards or a little bit to the side, it uh, will rotate you around. And if you do both of the thumb stick on the left and right controller uh, forward, it'll go really fast. So, you know, if you're in a large model, sometimes you want to fly around a little bit fast. So again, very basic, but here's one really cool thing. Um, basically, this, this shows both the 2D drawing information as well as the 3D. So some of the other virtual reality apps do not support the 2D graphic information unless I make actually 3D objects that look like text and numbers. This is truly like reading the DWG. It's overlaid. I can see the welding information. Now, unfortunately, the way that this is done, because on the assembly drawings and technical structures, you know, you typically have a lot of sections and views, and that's what you're seeing here. So, uh, and also the cutting plane where the view was uh, cut at will place the actual graphic. So here we've got a little tab with a bolt in it, but you'll see that uh, the 2D graphics are way over there in yellow and green. So, you know, not perfect here, especially for a complex assembly where virtual reality would probably be the most beneficial uh, to review and see. Um, and I, I'm not necessarily going to use these uh, to actually go fabricate from per se, but uh, this is great from a visualization point of view, especially you have you have some really complex assembly with miscellaneous steel work and you're like, okay, before I actually lay this out in the shop floor, I'd like to see this in virtual reality, sort of get a feel and walk around the actual, you know, assembly itself and just get a feel for how we might actually lay this out. Um, and then also we can take a look at uh, a job site review as well. So I just wanted you to see this, that this is the, you know, non-expensive, very easy entry level way to basically get into virtual reality for Tecla Structures users. You just export your IFC files out to Trimble Connect or uh, export your erection drawings or shop drawings and line them up with the model. And then basically you can view them here. Now I'm just gonna double click um, to basically get out of this. And so we will say quit. Let's see, okay, cool. So we're back to the browser and I don't need this anymore. So I'll just close that tab. And now we'll go to a different model here where this is more of the final product. And this has actually got some 3D annotations in it. So this is a little bit different than what we were doing before where there was a 2D drawing exported from Tecla and overlaid. This is a little bit different. We're gonna enter VR mode again. And there we'll see the project. It loads really quick. Um, this is one thing I will say about this is really large models. Um, you know, once you get it loaded on the main browser itself, Navigation is really quick. Um, it's it's easy to get around. You know, you don't feel a lot of lag. The model is very stable. Um, and so when I just come out here, this is a little bit of a different example, right? So what I'm actually seeing here are 3D objects um, created as contour plates and lines for the dimension lines as beams in the actual technical structures model. And when I get a little bit closer, we'll see the full fidelity of the dimensions. 
But basically, I mean, this is pretty handy. I mean, if you think about this from a review point of view, you can kind of get a feel for what dimensional things are. You can verify grids. You can see the project north direction. The model is colorized by sequence right now, so we can kind of see the three major divisions of the building. And then kind of at the expansion line, we can sort of see the connections here. So again, I can't inquire anything. I can't find out any properties unless I publish the, uh, the model annotations here that show that information, right? So here again, this is all 3D objects in the Tecla Structures model exported as IFC. But this is pretty fast. Again, very easy. I can just, you know, zoom to where I want to look, see all the connection, you know, material. Again, can't comment or do anything like that or do any markups, but this is still pretty impressive for an entry-level virtual reality experience.